hello guys welcome back to the channel mr rogers here and today we're going to talk about the new fifa controller settings and the best controller settings that you can possibly have all right so let's start off so let me start off by resetting but now remember to subscribe if you are new to the channel like the video and share all right so let's begin so competitive master switch so he is saying or fifa is saying that this is mandatory in online game modes so if you're going to play online this one is going to be on which is going to uh, turn off things and turn things to manual so tactical of course you know in online modes they are already they, you always have to play tactical uh, defending then the two passes two will be semi then jockey will be manual and headers uh, auto shots auto flare passes all will be off which in online moves this will be turned off automatically you don't have any uh, c or you don't have any option to turn any, them back on so let me turn it back off then try to explain them so contextual i got already you already know what that means and it was in fifa 21 so um that one is basically in one on one um to beat um opponents so it's really nice okay so auto clearance to it's on and off so oh i think these are self explanatory auto shots auto flare passes blah 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 all right so let's move on to the assisted headers okay assisted headers to then on and off now the jockey the jockey assisted the manual for me for me if you are a pro or elite a fifa player please leave this to manual all right leave this to manual but the assisted uh, if if you are just a beginner or intermediate, you can put it to assisted, all right? Because the jockey will allow you, the manual settings of the jockey will allow you to have a better grip of the game, all right? So I uh, I recommend keeping this to manual, all right? So now let's move. So the auto clearance and the flash shots and others, you don't want them to be off, all right? It doesn't usually affect anything, all right? It actually helps you, so you put it on. Keep it on. All right. So through passes, through pass assistance. So this one, true ball assistance, true ball direction and power will be assisted to help play pass into the receiver's path and avoid opponent players. So for this one, you can keep it to semi. Why? Because in this, the power will be partially assisted and depend more on where you point and how much you hold a true pass ball. So for me, it should be semi. All right as i said if you are a normal player you can keep it to assist assisted but um, if you are a pro player keep it to semi all right but the manual the manual doesn't do any good to you well if you if you want to take things to extra heights you can keep it to manual but i don't recommend that i recommend keep it as semi as you know tactical and uh, legacy defender there's there was there wasn't any addition this year so this is what it is so tactical and legacy defenders you already know how to defend it already fifa trainer if you are new for a beginner again you can put this one to show so that it shows you what to do basically but if you are already a FIFA player you have been playing for 20 19 17 whatever for 21 i don't think you need this anymore so you can hide it if you want all right and the tactical defender keep it if Tactical and defend, uh, legacy defending. If usually you are playing to compete with other people, all right. So and because online would not allow you to play legacy, keep the defending to tactical so that you learn how to, to defend tactically. I think I have a video on it in the channel, so you can check it out later. All right, I'll leave, I'll leave a description in the, in the, the I'll, I'll leave a link to the description. <laughs> I'll leave I'll leave a link in the description. All right, let's move on. All right, so um, time finishing to this year is super if you if you are able to time it in the green spot it's going to finish off especially with finesse in this year time finishing is really important i played the beta version of the game he invited me to play so i was part of it and i saw it and i think when the the trials 2 came i've downloaded it and i've seen how it works so it's really nice so you can keep it on but if you don't know how to use the time finishing please i suggest you keep it off right so please keep the time finishing on then the next player switch indicator to is a kind of um it's an old feature in 21 already but it's really nice 
if you want you can keep it to off or on if you don't know some people don't want so many things on the screen so if you want that for me for me basically i don't want so many indicators on the screen it's very confusing already fifa 22 is going to give more like there are more in-depth things in the game we confuses already so if you're having more things then on like this one you don't necessarily need you can keep it off all right but me i like to keep it on because i want to learn all the features in the game but i can keep it off so in this video i'm going to keep it off so pass block assistance why do you have to keep this off keep it on all right so because enable it's enable passes to block enable the ai to block your passes all right sorry for the all right so auto switching to why would anyone keep this one to automatic it automatic usually is for beginners basic all right so automatic if you are new to the game you know you don't know where where to switch where to click to switch or where to press which button to press to switch then keep it then that way you can keep it to automatic but we already know where it is and why is air balls and loose balls the the best option yes it is the best option because it gives you a kind of partial uh, it's, is or really automatic but it gives you uh -huh, it gives you a very good control of your game all right so you have to keep this one to to air balls and loose balls all right so let's move on to the auto switching and move assistant for this one to keep it to low not high if you are new to fifa keep it to high but if you are uh, old to fifa keep it low why do you have to do that because low it says auto switch mode assistant will keep the player you auto switch to moving in his current direction for a short period of time this gives you time to orient your intended direction for the new player so you don't want to keep it too high so that it just be switching whenever there is a loose ball to any player you don't you don't intend to switch it to all right so keeping it low helps this one too is for advanced players all right so maybe if you're in foot uh foot uh, division one or something you have to keep you you would like to keep this one too low because it's really helps you it's for very advanced players all right but if you are just a normal player like me i'm not a normal player <laughs> so you can keep it too low all right so let's move on to the clearance assistance so clearance the directional is the new thing i think the classic is the old one that we know this classic thing sometimes sometimes uh, um clears the ball you see i don't know whether you've noticed but in fifa sometimes when your, your defender is auto clearing uh, a ball or you are clearing a ball it just hits the opponent and the opponent takes the ball and scores do you understand so for not conceding those kind of uh, goals or being in those kind of situations, keep this to directional so that where you direct it, that's where it's going to put it. It will not do it by itself. And all right, so all right. so player lock. You would like to keep this one on the court. This is something that you actually be pressing the L and the R um, buttons. All right, so you don't actually you wouldn't even do a mistake make a mistake to go and collect it so you can keep this on because of i'll make a video to explain it uh, on how to uh, use the uh, flick the l l and the r buttons all right so i'll do so you make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel so they have it when i make a video on it i think you let me know whether you want it soon all right so the icon switching the icon switching to enable switching icons to be displayed when pressing the R. so this one too is kind of cool i think it was already in fifa 21 too and it, it was really uh annoying because when you you do it you wouldn't want your opponent to be seen right especially when you're playing offline with a kickoff match with your friends all right so keeping this one off will make it very hard for them to see your right 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 switch uh, yeah so that's what it is so you can keep this one off all right so that you don't see but if you but the default is on though uh, i would like it to be off now right stick switching that is what it is so player relative or ball relative do you want the ball to be the center point of reference when right sticking or not all right so the default 
is the player relative but for advanced players or to, for you to be an advanced player keep this one to ball relative so that the ball will be the center of attention the center of reference all right so where the ball is when you flick up then you flick the 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 right stick the right stick will move to the opponent to your player who is at the at the top when you flick left that's what it is so it's going to really help you if you put it the ball relative instead of the player relative all right so ground pass assistant to this one it wouldn't hurt you if you keep it to assisted because you really don't need you, you really need help with the game already so why do you keep this stringies so straight assistant to should be assisted and the cross assistant cro for crossing it depends you see for manual i don't recommend manual but the semi assisted for for semi for me like this i would like i recommend putting it to semi why this is because the semi gives you more control you see it's all about control all the all the recommended settings is all about giving you total control all right so if you don't have full control of your team it's going to hurt you especially with crosses because crosses are a major factor i think in this year's future of the game FIFA 22 uh, crosses uh, heading uh, headers and um finesse shots are really really impressive like they're overpowered in the game so so you you would like to keep this one to same so that you can control if you are if you are if you if you are crossing and you the longer you press it the further it crosses to your teammate at the at the furthest place they understand so if you put it to semi that's when you can control it but if you put it to assisted the computer is going to the ai is going to control it for you and you have no control over it so please put it to assisted unless you are just you don't mind all right all right so lob assistance to keep it to assisted all right self-explanatory save recommend assisted analog sprint so here is the case that for analog sprint when if you if if you are using if you are using the the rt on the xbox controller or the r2 on the ps playstation controller putting this on uh, makes the players run like the way you control uh, a car in car races all right in in racing games the further you hold it the longer the further you hold it the longer uh the faster the player moves all right so if you hold, hold the if you if you hold down that button halfway the player is not going to sprint at 400 percent maybe like 40 percent or 50 percent you understand but you wouldn't want that you want just the player to automatically move to 100 percent straight up when you press it so for players who change who change their uh their sprint like this let me, let me show you if you are if you are, if your sprint you change the rb this is the xbox x uh, series s controller you change it like this there you have no problem you can leave this one to on it that it wouldn't affect you all right but if you use if this if this is your main uh way then putting this on will you wouldn't like it so you would like so you can put it off so that it just when you press it anyhow you press it whether it's soft or hard it just gives you 400 percent sprint you don't have to so far like so late pass receiver lock 2 is kind of cool L uh, pass receiver lock is kind of cool the late and the early the early just when you pass you, you can't control anything again you just, the, the player just passes even when someone is, is intercepting or cutting the passing lane all right but when you put it to late when you see a when, before you pass before the animation takes place and you maybe you see a player uh, an opponent player intercepting the pass you understand you can change your direction to a different teammate then you are go, you are you are on but if it is on early you can't do that all right so i recommend keeping late i think the default settings late all right so here is my recommended settings now let's see about this so this so two buttons one button classic then alternates so 
the alternate is kind of for people who place pairs pairs for me i grew up with pairs so usually i keep this formation instead of the classic formation which we use in the uh, the settings so i put it to classic uh, sorry alternate then i change the finesse and the sprint as i was teaching you when uh when i was talking about the what was i was talking about <laughs> I was talking about the analog sprint, yes, so that's what it is. So this is basically the best for a uh, controller setting that you can have for you to have the most out of your game. It's really cool to do this unless you want your own settings, but this is the best for me, uh, the best controller setting so far. All right, so more videos will be coming up on the channel really soon. So stay tuned. Remember to subscribe if you haven't and give a like and share the video for me. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.